Hey everyone, it's Val here, and um, I'm wearing a hat now. I th I've never worn a hat in my videos, but I think I'm going to try it out for this video. Um, so today's video is going to be a school update. Now um, I am attending college, and um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a background once I got into college and. When, before I got into college, and then where I'm at now, and what's on my mind about like with school and career-wise and stuff, and all that stuff like that. So that's what we're doing today. So I started college in 2015. I went into in the fall of 2015. I started a community community college close by. I'm actually really close to where I go to school. Um, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of com people who live really close to their community college. I live walking distance, so I've walked to school before, um, but I just wanted to get into where I'm at. So when I graduated high school, or before I graduated high school, there, when I started high school and before I started high school, I wanted to become a teacher. So I wanted to, at first I wanted to become an elementary school teacher. And then I got into middle school and I wanted to become a middle school teacher. And then I got into high school and I wanted to become a high school teacher. Um, more of like a middle school, high school teacher when I was like in middle school and high school. I was, it was both because I liked the idea of teaching one subject instead of all subjects like in elementary school. And when I, I was thinking of becoming maybe like, I love Spanish class. In high school that was one of my favorite subjects in school was Spanish. Um, I liked learning Spanish and I'm not fluent in Spanish but I had already understood a lot of the Spanish that um, I was learning at the beginning and I, I knew a lot. Um, I was more advanced. I didn't take any AP Spanish classes or Spanish speakers because I wasn't, I was not fluent but like I knew enough. I knew like quite a bit to where the just the basic Spanish classes were really easy for me. Um, if I would have if I would have taken AP or Spanish speakers, I don't think I would have I don't think I would have succeeded. So I'm glad I took basic Spanish because I feel like I just feel like I didn't I wouldn't have felt confident enough in those two classes. And when I speak Spanish, I don't sound like I'm fluent in Spanish, even though I mean I wish I did. To be honest with you, I'm still learning. I'm still practicing, um, but. I also want to become a lawyer um, because from experiences in my life so when I was when I was 13 so my mom and my father had to deal with a whole bunch of lawyers when I was growing up because they had um, they had a just they, they had they, they were going through a really bad disgusting divorce that well, I say disgusting because it was it wasn't pretty it was very dramatic and I had to go through that my brother had to go through that our family had to go through that and um, stuff um, and so when I was 13 going on to 14 or no 12 going on to I think I was hmm, I think I was 12 going on to 13 I guess I was 12 going on to 13 um, I, my family and I were going through a whole lot, a whole lot, and my dad said some things that he shouldn't have said to me because I was only 12 years old, and my mom found a lawyer to represent me, and I was really grateful for what she helped me with, even though, unfortunately, the judge was an asshole. Excuse my language, but that is just the truth the judge was an asshole and he gave my dad full custody of my brother which honestly shouldn't have happened um luckily now my mom had uh, my mom and that was that was years ago so my brother um but like a year later my mom was granted custody because my dad screwed up and um stuff like that and i was just i'm really grateful for the lawyer that represented me because if it weren't for her then i would have had to see my dad and gone through a lot of more crap that I really wish I ha I'm really like I really am glad that I didn't have to go through so I wanted to become a family and divorce lawyer family and divorce lawyer I wanted to go into law and do that 
And then I'll, I was also thinking of becoming a, a psychologist because there were some psychologists that I had seen <coughs> and or that I had to go through um, court ordered psychologist and just because I was I was in a not as I wasn't like suicidal but I wasn't like a kind of bad place when I was when, when I was 14 and 15 so my mom wanted me to see a psychologist and the psychologist helped actually she helped or they helped um, a lot and I felt I ended up I didn't really like talk too much but I did feel a little bit comfortable with them and stuff like that and so that's and then I wanted to become a Spanish teacher again so lawyer and psychology they flew out of my mind I didn't think about that again for a while and I wanted to become a Sp Spanish teacher so I was set on becoming a Spanish teacher the rest of my high school career when I got into college um, my major was Spanish and I wanted to become a Spanish teacher and then I took an English class and I really liked my English professor he was really cool and English wasn't always my best subject when I was in high school and middle school and I just wasn't good at writing my grammar was bad and um, but I took those English classes and they really helped and then I wanted to become an English teacher and this was all this is all for high school so high school English high school Spanish and um, so I and then I took an English um, an English lit class um, because that was one of the requirements so I don't know if you guys know this but California Community College colleges have this um, program an ADT which is an associate degree for transfer and not all majors are um, qualify but Spanish and English does so I was um, at first I was Spanish ADT and then I was English ADT and I one of the requirements for English was to take a lit class so I took the lit class I didn't do too good and you know what I was like never mind I don't want to doing I don't want to do English anymore and the reason why I didn't want to do English anymore was because of the reading and I was like you know what I don't like to read unless I want to I don't want I don't like to read books um, unless there's something that I'm interested in so I'm just not interested in reading to be honest with you and I know there are a lot of subjects that require you to read so unless I'm, I'm passionate about those subjects then I'll read but English isn't something that I'm like passionate about like lit literature when you're reading literature you have to you have to go more into detail with that literature and that's not something that I really I didn't really want to do so I decided never mind on that and then I started dating my boyfriend um, who I am with now and he wants to become a doctor so he thought that I he thought that I would make a great nurse and I probably would make a great nurse so I changed my major again to nursing and by the way it, I don't have any re I used to regret going to community college but I'm I think it has helped me in ways especially with what I wanted maybe with what I want to do and just trying to figure out what I want to do for the rest of my life so nurse then I so and then, so I, like I said, I went into nursing, and um, that's my that's my current major right now. But um, well, before we get into the but, so nursing is my current major right now, and there, I, there were a few days that I had to spend in the hospital because of my appendix, um, and I had really amazing nurses, and I um, not just them, but my nurse, um, the nurse that is works with my doctor. She is really nice, and I was like, you know what, I can do this. I can become a nurse, and I really, I wanted to, and I, and then, but then, I thought about it again. I was like, you know what, I really want to do law. I want to do law. Um, that's, that was just a few months ago. We're in uh, September of 2019, um, start, somewhere in 2019, a few months, like, earlier I decided you know what I want to become a lawyer and here's why so with all the crap that I was went through in my life and as in my childhood I don't want any children or any families any parents any moms dads anyone to go through that divorces some divorces you know you they're they're easy but some divorces just get really ugly and it's not a good environment for children and 
depending on whose side it is, the moms or the dads, or let's say, the yeah, the moms or the dads, I mean, I wouldn't want, let's say it's the dad's fault. I would want the mom to go through all that drama, and the mom, let's say it's the mom's fault, I wouldn't want the, want the dad to go through all that drama, because sometimes, you know, it's it's not always like one, it's either one parent or both or the other, it just, it's a lot of craziness. And I don't want any children or any families to go through that, especially children, because they don't deserve to be put through that. Um, when I was in kindergarten, my dad took me to Washington without any, he wasn't allowed to, there was no, um, he pretty much illegally took me to Washington. My mom had full custody of me and he only had partial custody of me, but he took me to Washington so we could live there. And when I got back, I just, well, I wasn't really too happy there, honestly. I missed my mom, and there was a time where we were in the apartment that we lived in at the, at the time, and I had a temper tantrum, and I just, I wasn't having it. I was not having it at all. Um, so, finally, he had to go back. He had to take me back, and my dad and my mom, when I, they had a tug of war over me literally a tug of war over me this was at my other my other, other side of my grandparents house or my other grandparents my father's side ha house um and they literally had a freaking tug of war over me like they were pulling both arms and the cops were there there were other like some of my family was there and it was just something that a child should not have to go through that is something that a child should not have to go through and that's what i want to do family and divorce law so I changed my major it's um I changed it to psychology and I was looking up some majors that were are good for like lawyers and I know there's criminal justice history I think English was a good one um just a whole another a whole list of laws or a whole list of majors that would be good for psych or for law and psychology is a good one luckily so psychology the reason why I'm majoring in psychology is because if I'm going to be going, if I'm going to try and go into family and divorce law, I kind of think that learning, I think the psycho, learning the psycho, psychological effects of what a kid mind goes through, what, um, just adult minds go through and all that stuff. You know, what if one of the per, one of the parents is sick? Or what if both of the parents are like sick? When I say sick, I mean like mentally, um, mentally unstable and they have a mental disorder like depression, anxiety, bipolar, PTSD, any of those conditions or the kids, they might even have those. Um, those that could be useful in my opinion as a, for a family and divorce lawyer because you have to kind of, I, I feel like I need to be a psych, family and divorce lawyer, I feel like I need some psych, psychology and, um, and stuff. So I think psychology is a great major for that. Um, and if I decide along the line that I don't want to be a psychologist or a lawyer, I could be a psychologist. <coughs> I could be a psychology professor in high school or college and stuff. And um, so I'm going to be majoring in psychology. I haven't changed my major yet, but that I do plan to change it to psychology. And I also want to do Spanish. I like I said, I love learning Spanish. I loved taking Spanish classes and. I could also a psych, double major in psychology and Spanish would be probably beneficial too. Um, with Spanish, if let's say I don't want to become a lawyer, like I said, or I don't want to become a psychologist, I could become a Spanish teacher. I could, I could travel the world and teach Spanish as a second language. So, I wanted. That's what are those are my plans as of, as of now, and I don't plan on changing them. Um, I do not have any plans of changing my major. I don't, but those two majors will honestly they will put me in a place where I will have a few more options than just nursing I don't so I don't I'm I'm dropping nursing and I'm doing Spanish and, and psychology and I'm really excited for this um, I'm just ready to I'm just I'm just really excited that I have what I want to do I, I know what I want to do so that is my school update and if you guys enjoyed this video then go ahead and give it a big thumbs up let me know what in the comments down below 
um, if you are in school or college, what your major is, if you're in high school, what you want to do when you get into college, or if you're unsure, then there's nothing wrong with being unsure because you're young and you have a whole bunch of time, a whole, you have a lot of time to decide what you want to do. Um, but for me, what I have always told my family is that money isn't necessarily important. So, you know, if you go into a job just because the pay is good, don't. I don't think you should go into a job just because it pays good money. I think you should choose your career based off of something that you're passionate about. And if you're passionate about becoming becoming something that doesn't make that much money, don't let anyone judge you because it ha you need to be passionate about. There it's not their lives you're, you're, that they're it's not their lives you're living, it's your life. So, just some advice from me that I've always told my grandparents or my grandpa and my mom and just people like some people that I know I've told them I want to become a teacher because I like teaching and I want to teach children um that's when I wanted to become a teacher for like the only, that's the only thing that I had in my mind and they don't make that much money but they still have an impact on people's lives so yeah so like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, go, and go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you guys would like to see more of my videos, subscribe down below. And check out my vlog channel. I'll have it on a card over here on this side or on this side. I'm pretty sure it's on this side. So subscribe, check out my vlog channel. And oh, and if you are in a career, if you do already have your career in set in place, what do you do? I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.